When I was a child, I was the smallest person in my class. Everybody used to make fun of me and that was very annoying by the way. With the time, somebody gave me advice and that advice helped me a lot and within a six month, my height changed completely. This is a story I will tell you in the end of the class. Namaste everyone, this is D. Welcome to Yoga with Master D. And today we are going to learn how yoga can help you to increase your height. Those few inches you are always looking for. Yoga is the best way I will say for that because it is just not about the subject of your height but it will help you physically, mentally and many other ways. Understand the good height is not just restricted to the physical development but it also helps to boost your IQ level and give you a very good confidence as well. Human height depends on many genetic or non-genetic factors like environmental factor, nutrition and much more. And you will be surprised to know that yoga can help you to increase your height. In next 5 minutes we will learn how yoga poses, which yoga poses can help you to increase those few inches which can help you not to look good but also will give you physical, mental and many other benefits as well. Let's start. Our first posture is here is Tadasana, the palm tree pose. The tree pose is very nice posture which help you to lengthen and strengthen your spine and help to the vertical growth. For this tree pose, let's feet together front of the mat, palm by the side of the body, keep your spine straight and look forward. We can raise the arms up towards the ceiling, you can join your palm or interlock your finger, then turn your palm and just pull your arms up all the way. Pull the arms up, make sure, keep your shoulder back and down. And you can also lift your heels up. This variation you can add here easily. So this is your palm tree pose or Tadasana posture. Stay here 10 count, breathe 1, 2, 3, breathe, 4, 5. You can stay here 10 count and you can repeat this 3 times. Also you can stretch side to side like literally like okay to the right side exhale inhale center exhale to the left inhale center exhale to the right inhale center exhale to the left inhale center exhale to the right inhale center exhale to the left you can repeat this posture again three round okay you can go with the ten time okay each side left to right and then Repeat it three to five times. This will be a very nice practice. You can add this posture in your daily classes. Our second posture is bend forward. Pad Hastasana or Hastapadasana or whatever name you know. Let's see how to do that. Stand with feet together in front of the mat. Keep your palm on the waist and inhale, lift the chest up. And exhale, slowly bend forward from the hip joint and bring your palms down close to your feet. If you got a back pain, stay in 90 degree or halfway bend forward. Otherwise, simply go down as much as you can, bring your head down closer to the sin bone. Keep your legs straight. This posture will help you to stretch your entire back of the body from heel to the head all the way. It will also stretch your spine as well, the leg muscles as well. Stay here. For five count, breathe. Make sure feel free to stay 10 count and repeat the set for three times or five times. Two. Inhale and exhale nicely and try to focus on your breath. Feel the stretch. Three. Breathe. Four. And five. You can do the same thing, the other variation of this. Padhastasana, which is called Paschimottasana, okay, which is in sitting position. Okay, benefit gonna be almost almost similar in both conditions primarily. So we can sit down, leg is straight, feet together, inhale, raise your arms up, exhale, catch your big toe or the top of the foot, try to inhale, lift the chest, lengthen your spine, and with the exhalation, slowly bend forward from the hip joint, try to suck your belly in and lower the head down towards your sin bone. Stay here 5 to 10 count and repeat 3 times. Breathe, inhale, exhale, 1, 2, breathe, 3, 4, and 5. Inhale, head up, and exhale, release. Our third posture is very nice, also will be a counter pose for your spine, which is Cobra pose, Bhujangasana, there is many variation you can add definitely. We are going with the basic 
variation for bhujangasana lay down on the belly keep your feet together or slightly apart that is fine palm next to your chest with inhalation roll the shoulder back lift the chest up slowly 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 try to look upwards slightly one breathe two keep breathing three this bhujangasana is a very lovely posture which going to strengthen your spine and also will stretch three breathe four and five with exhalation come down as a counter pose or to release the tension you can come back to the extended child pose with knees apart and head down the ground arms forward and in the end the most important practice which is sun salutation in my one hour videos there is all this posture going to be always there if you want to practice completely yoga classes you can go with my one hour yoga classes there is more than 30 videos you can practice regularly and take a lot of benefits out of it let's do the sun salutation we're going to perform one round but i will say at least do five round will be good feet together front of the mat join the palm in front of the chest inhale raise your arms up towards the ceiling and with exhalation bend forward from the hip joint head down to the knees inhale take your right leg back knee down toes out and very gently raise your arms up exhale drop the palm down take your left leg back come to parvatasana mountain pose feet together drop the knee chest and chin down astanga namaskara inhale lift the chest up come to bhujangasana exhale push your hips back come to parvatasana mountain pose feet together hips higher inhale bring the right leg forward between the palm left knee down toes out and raise your arms up towards the ceiling exhale drop the palm down bring the left leg forward head down to the knees very gently raise the arms up towards the ceiling and exhale join the palm in front of the chest so this is half set of the sun salutation we're going to repeat another half side join the palm inhale raise your arms up look up exhale bend forward catch your ankle head down to the knees inhale left leg back knee down toes out and raise your arms up exhale drop the palm down and take your right leg back feet together mountain pose drop the knee chest and chin down inhale lift the chest up slightly exhale push your hips back come to mountain pose parvatasana very lovely posture inhale bring the left leg forward between the palm right knee down toes out raise your arms up look up and exhale drop the palm down bring the right leg forward head down to the knees inhale come all the way up arms up look up and exhale join the palm in front of the chest this is our sun salutation always gonna work for you make sure this is a little bit changes okay make sure if you know very well maybe possible you will feel a little bit different so this is the few yoga practices which can help you one is tadasana one is paschimottasana one is padhastasana one is bhujangasana child pose as well and the sun salutation very important add all these posture in your daily routine and definitely it will help you apart of this what else you can do you can always work on the sports nowadays because of the mobile everybody is like this okay and just hunching your back and just sitting down whole the day on the sofa and then playing how the height will grow come on you have to go out you need to have some running jogging some sports outdoor sports that can help you a lot swimming is a very good way you can swimming and that is a very good exercise which can help you to strengthen your body but at the same time will help you to increase your height as well you can also hanging on the bar that will be a good choice you can also play volleyball basketball like game which can help you to complete body development let's come to my story how i changed it there is a day i was coming to the temple and there is somebody who told me i was same as you when i was in your age and everybody used to make fun on me as well so i asked like how you made it like today you looks longer enough taller enough so he said okay i just riding my bicycle so increase the height of the bicycle and then ride it and my school was far enough okay so i could run 10 to 15 km every day easily so i just uh, listen that advice that was just a free advice but i take it a bit seriously i said let's see try and i increase the height of my seat and then riding my bicycle every single day within a 6 month my height completely changed i was in the first in the class row and i comes to very far back and that was very nice 
I can understand the feeling, the confidence level. Like okay, when I was in the beginning, okay, everybody used to make fun on me, but when I came in the end of the line, everything was fine, and all of my relative was surprised to see my height. So this is my story. I hope you enjoy it, and if you enjoy, you can try. By the way, if you are the one who think like okay, your height is not enough. try the cycling try the yoga try the other things and let's see what works for you i will be happy to see your feedback if this helps you but make sure this is not a one day game at least it will take 3 to 6 month or one year maybe so enjoy your lovely day this is day thank you i will see you soon namaste